here's a, some of the things I want to talk to you about. Number one, delaying gratification is not always the best thing to do, especially if you're trying to take on manifesting money. And here's why. Because if you want to bring, and I know that sounds crazy, so listen to me first because you're like, but if I don't have money, I can't just go buy that la 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 la. And I hear you. Um, but here's, here's what I'm saying is that, okay, I'm trying to share this. Okay, here's what I'm saying is that whenever you feel into abundance, you are abundant. When you feel into charisma and love, then those things come to you. Whenever you feel that you're a champion, you then begin to act like and move like a champion. And some things, depending on how long you've been feeling into these things, hi there, say hello, um, if you're here, depending on how long, hi Tammy, we have class in just a moment in Zoom. So I'm just talking, I didn't label this because I had so much that I wanted to talk about that I was like running out of time trying to figure out um, what all I wanted to say. First, I'm talking about delaying gratification, like, oh, I'm not going to, um, here, let me just give you a tool because I'm pumped. So, say you want to buy something and you want to feel abundant and rich, but you're like, oh, I can never go into that store or that home until I have the money to actually consider it. I'm not even going to let myself feel the desire for it because I just, I don't want to be tempted to act on it or I don't want to do, you know, I don't want to feel the disappointment. But here's the thing, giving yourself the gratification, even in a small way, even if it's a cup of tea in that hotel you want to stay the night in, or it's something small, so maybe you have a favorite designer and she has something really tiny that you can get, or he has something really tiny you can get to start to tap into that energy. And, and I mean, it's that energy for you because you value that thing, right? I'm not saying, anyway. So giving yourself the gratification of feeling abundant ahead of time is so important and delaying, delaying like, oh, once I do this, hi Kenya, I know you're gonna be in the class tonight too. Once I do this, I'll allow myself. So that's the first thing I wanted to say. The other thing that I wanted to say is that earlier I put up a post saying 50 Cent said, you know, you're either praying or worrying, don't do both, and I love that. And then I was like, well, I feel like we, I believe that we are praying all the time. And here's why you are God energy happening. You are source. You are goddess. You are life happening and moving. And so this body, this temple is ascending, receiving machine. And so whatever thoughts, emotions, or things are going on, you're constant. Hi, Roman Sita. Uh, you're constantly creating out in the universe so whenever you are thinking or worrying and worry and prayer both tend to happen in kind of intense ways and so even prayers that are full of worry it's like they can send really mixed signals out into the universe and I and I'm not saying there's time for all of our feelings all of our emotions and you let them out but whenever you're thinking, whenever you're playing, whatever you're feeling, you are sending energy out into the world around you and up-leveling or down-leveling the quality and the content, you are praying all the time. And I don't tell you that to give you like this heavy obligation. I tell you that to free you so that you can own your space and know like, hey, I'm God happening. I'm life happening. What am I creating? What am I putting my vision on? Oh, I just saw Elle um, said something. Hi, if you're here, say hello. So several of you ladies are going to be in this master class. I'm so excited. But here's what I, what I want to remind you, that constantly the best thing you can do as far as managing, manifesting, period, is of course tapping into your body, tapping into your desires, and then feeling into what it is that you want to create and feeling it in a way of like you're already that it's yours it's in your cells it's in your body feeling gratitude feeling appreciation feeling love and then partaking in some way of that energy or of that space hello l that you're wanting 
to participate in. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is the power of tools. And then I'm gonna pop off to meet these gorgeous ladies in our womb cross. But this is why I'm talking about this tool tonight, because we have a master class in my paid group, and then everyone who joined um, this money game that we're about to play, Majestic Money, Make It Rain, um, is gonna get this class for free as well. It's about to happen in 15 minutes. But this is an ancient shamanic tool that is um, is beautiful it works with feminine energy it works directly with your body and and it helps to manifest and create intentions and magic into the world and so I just want to talk about that because if you're a healer or a light worker you already kind of rely on certain tools like maybe I have this pendulum that I love but you know y'all I'm here in the south and I grew up in uh, in a world where we're like well what is that so look at this pendulum you guys and you know I'm all about the spirals of the womb check that out I just love it so you know some people are like oh I don't want to use tools uh, like that you may be afraid of tools like that because you hear about people you know reading the paper and reading their horoscope and not going outside or creating things or putting too much into this stuff but here's the the truth and the fact one all the answers are inside of you absolutely 1000% and you chose to come be a life a co-creator a god a goddess a queen a king on this planet right now and so we love looking for verification and signs and connection outside of ourselves and so these things are used as confirmation they're not as the guidance outside of your own guidance they confirm and connect to and reflect back what and who you already are and what you know and allow you to tune in in a different place. And for me, I love that kind of variety, connection, and all of that. And here's the other thing. So this one's not a pendulum. It's something that we're creating. Or, you know, another one of my classes, we did uh, something attuning with Sacred Union. Um, and, and you put energy into objects. And the reason that you do that is that objects actually, they're energy. They hold space. They hold intention. And most people don't give objects intention. So for one thing, giving the objects in your home, that's why they're, we've heard all these cultures of cleansing things, clearing things with sage, or praying over things, or rebuking devils, you know? It's to get the old stagnant energy out, and then to declare with your declarative power and your source energy what you're gonna put in that. And even if you don't believe in any of that, I'm lighting my sage for you feeling really shamanic about it, but I've got red uh, high heels on <laughs> at the same time, just so you know what kind of a, of a shamanic person, how I roll. So, you know, um, objects are powerful. So even if you don't believe in any of that, here's the other thing. Once you focus on a goal, you focus on something that you want to create in your world or you want to make magnificent and money is the focus with me and these ladies and you are going to see so many manifesting stories come out of that Woo! that kicks off tomorrow new moon uh special 30 dollar donation only required and it's going to later be a thousand dollar program minimum um but it's going to be epic 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 um once you put something into an object and you say, even if you don't believe in the spiritual properties or the energetic properties, what happens is you're making something physical and telling your reticular activating, reticular activator system, hey, pay attention to this. This is so important that I've actually spent some time putting my energy, thoughts, and focus, and now there's a physical reality sitting here to remind me of this thing. And so the more ways that you can tap in like when you comment, when you heart, when you do all this, there is an energetic exchange. We're exchanging love and energy right now, but there is also a, a mental exchange of like, oh, this topic's important to me. Manifesting is important to me. Being and living as the true goddess that I am here to be and with my work, my love, my light, my freedom, my expression, 
Um, this is important to me. And so when you put things into physical form and put them around you, you're bringing all of the elements in. All right. Thank you for that love. I've got to go hop onto this call. I am ready to meet my divas and uh, check out the new nails. I'm excited. I've been rocking black for weeks and I was going to do gold because I saw these epic gold nails on a friend. But anyway, love you so much. If you haven't signed up for the 30 day majestic money, make it rain money game, get in on it. We have a kickoff class tomorrow. And um, that's with the new moon. We are going to shed our blocks to money. We're going to manifest actual real cash and some awesome stuff too. We're going to up level this energy. It's going to set off a cycle, a new cycle of abundance. And we're going to do it together just in time for the holidays. All right. Lots of love. <laughs> Bye.